in you have your privacy latch, a chain, looking around at the room, it's a okay sized room, you have a desk, average chair, Let's and two USB curing machine, a 720p TV, a microwave. And you open this up and you get a pretty big sized fridge. Not the cleanest, but it works. A couple drawers. back around over here you have an AC which does a good job a chair excuse the mess uh, end table with four plugins plus look here you got USB and another plug-in you go to the other side you have a you have another plug-in down here an alarm clock another USB and power. Going this side again, you got four more power outlets. Coming over here, you have plenty of towels and stuff underneath the sink. You got a, whatever this laundry thing is, and the board, a nice big mirror with LED around the edges. Very nice. Your sink, hair dryer, water on and off. Come to the bathroom. It's actually a pretty nice bathroom. No, this is, uh, no, I'm not sure if this is Kyle or not. I'm not sure. Okay, tub. Yeah, that's a little nasty. Good water pressure. Ooh, yeah, that ain't the greatest. So one problem I've had when I, since I've gotten here, um, as far as security goes, like this whole thing here is pretty jank. Like you can see the door is like, it's hard to see in the video, but this whole door moves. Um, yeah, you, you, this wiggles. You can see where the keyboard's like moved. So yeah, not too impressed with the security. So I'm just finishing my workout in the fitness center. Um, it's not a bad place. Let me go and flip my camera around. So you got an exercise machine. I didn't use this. I don't know how, if it's any good or not. Um, you got a decent uh, weight machine here. Uh, goes up to about 200 pounds, I believe. Yeah, it goes to 200. Um, 
got a lap machine or part of it. Uh, you can get your ab workout right here. And then you can do, you know, for your biceps, curls, and possibly shoulders with that. Coming over to the um, treadmill, I use this, sorry, I'm a little winded right now, um, for about 30 minutes. Um, so it has a decent little app, the only a decent screen and everything. The problem is you need an app to get a lot of stuff out of this. So it has uh, incline up to 15 and you can even go negative. And then your speed's up to, looks like 12 miles an hour. Uh, it does have Bluetooth also, but it'll only connect through the app. So I couldn't use that. These fans did not work. Um, the belt itself felt a little loose. Like sometimes when I take a hard step on it, it would kind of stop for a second. But I'm not gonna complain. I did not pay much for this uh, hotel room. So the fact that they have even amenities like this makes me pretty happy. Um, it helps me with my back issues, getting on the treadmill every day. Um, another couple things here, Oops, sorry. Like, they do have a water uh, thing here. Um, it does look like it's empty though, unfortunately. Um, they have an AC, which is doing a pretty good job. And then a bathroom. So that is pretty much everything for the fitness center. I'm gonna go ahead and head down to the pool now. We'll see how that is. Well, I'm just wrapping up my stay here in El Paso, Texas. Um, I just had breakfast. I'm about to head out to Phoenix. So uh, a little bit about my room at uh, Super 8 uh, by Wyndham by the um, by the airport. Uh, so overall, I actually like the hotel quite a bit. The positives about it, customer service, the staff were very friendly to me. Um, well, actually, when I walked in, I got my stuff. And when I was you know, getting my key card and leaving, he called me back over and gave me a little bag of barbecue chips. So it looks like that's something they do for everybody. There was like kind of a box there sitting on the counter that they give out, you know, give out when you leave. Um, the hotel room itself, I was very impressed with the amount of uh, plugins, USB plugins, chargers. Uh, the room was fairly clean. The Wi-Fi was pretty good, uh, more consistent than the other one places I've been to. The only problem was they did have some sort of firewall up. So when I tried to get um, on Forza Horizon 5 to play with a friend for a little bit last night, uh, it wouldn't let me connect to Xbox Live despite being connected to the uh, network. Um, and I actually did work for Xbox support for a while and I saw you know issues like this where there was some sort of security setting in the network or a firewall port that wasn't open. Uh, so that was most likely what was going on, but not a huge deal. Um, the pool was very nice. Um, you know, it's, I went out there about 9 p.m. last night. Um, the sun was setting, so you had the moon out. Um, it was about 90 degrees. The pool, though, was it wasn't uh, super hot, but it had been warmed, I think, by the sun because the hot temperatures. It was very nice. Um, it it was fairly big, wasn't huge, but it had about eight at the uh, deep end. It was eight feet, which was nice, so you could actually swim a bit, opposed to a lot of these pools that aren't as deep. Um, so those were all the positives I had to say about it. Negatives, obviously, was the security on the door. I did not like that. Um, as I showed it, the, the actual latch itself uh, wobbled a lot. The frame was not secure. Um, another thing was the bed. Um, it was bad. So I literally was woken up by it creaking just by me rolling over. There was a big dip in the middle. It was not that comfortable. Not a fan of that. Um, trying to think if there was anything else, really. Maybe the shower head, it wasn't the greatest, it wasn't a lot of pressure, but that's not a big deal to me. Um, the TV wasn't the best. It was a, you know, 720, I think upscaled to 1080. It's one of those weird old TVs where it says, uh, when you plug into your laptop, it says like 720p is the recommended, but it lets you go to 1080p anyway. I was kind of tiny. Um, I don't know why a lot of these places can't do a little bit bigger TV, with the better resolution. They are not expensive anymore. Um, besides those few gripes, so it was a good hotel. I definitely stay there again. I only paid about, I think it was 60-ish, low 60s for a night. So not a bad deal at all.
Anyway, so I am off to Phoenix now. Hopefully I don't die from heat stroke there because it's supposed to be like 110 today, I think, or something like that. Anyway, I will see you guys there.